You know, scientific discovery has always been this slow, painstaking process. You search through mountains of literature, you form a hypothesis, you analyze the data, and then you do it all over again. But what if an AI could run that entire cycle completely on its own and at machine speed? Well, a new system called Cosmos is doing exactly that. And honestly, it might just change the future of research as we know it. First things first, to really get why a tool like this is such a big deal, we got to look at the huge problem researchers are facing right now. And it's a serious question. I mean, think about it. Every single year, millions of scientific papers get published. The amount of data being generated is just incredible. For any single person or even a whole team of people, just trying to keep up has become almost impossible. This massive flood of information, this, this data deluge, is creating a gigantic bottleneck. To find that next world-changing breakthrough, we need a totally new kind of tool, one that can help us navigate this massive ocean of data. And that right there brings us to the solution we're talking about today, an AI system called Cosmos. So what is Cosmos? Well, in a nutshell, it's designed to be an autonomous AI scientist. You give it a high-level goal, feed it a data set, and it just goes. It automates that whole research cycle, digging through literature, cooking up new ideas, crunching the numbers, all by itself. Okay, so how does this thing actually work? Well, a scientist kicks the whole process off. Then Cosmos unleashes two different AI agents. One is a total data cruncher, and the other is a literature expert that just reads everything. But here's the magic. They don't work alone. They're constantly sharing what they find on this central world model. You can kind of think of it like a shared digital corkboard, where two brilliant detectives are pinning up clues, drawing lines, and connecting the dots in real time. And when it's all done, it writes up a full-blown scientific report, complete with citations for every single source. So just how powerful is this, really? Well, let me tell you, the numbers are pretty staggering. Get this. In a single run, Cosmos writes and executes, on average, over 42,000 lines of code. That is merely a tenfold increase in analytical power compared to its predecessor, Robin. At the same time, it's reading something like 1,500 full scientific papers. This is research on a scale that a human being just can't do. So what does all that machine work actually translate to in, you know, human terms? Well, in a single run, Cosmos can perform the equivalent of over six months of full-time work for a human researcher. And look, this isn't just some abstract calculation. The academic groups who collaborated on this reported that a single Cosmos run did what would have taken them about six months to do themselves. Just let that sink in. Compressing half a year of meticulous, painstaking lab work into one automated run. That's the kind of acceleration that could totally change the timeline for discovering new drugs or understanding diseases. Okay, but is it accurate? For the most part, yeah. Its data analysis and its literature review statements are really solid, both over 80% accurate. But, and this is a really important but, when it comes to interpreting the meaning between the data and the literature, the accuracy drops to about 58%. This shows us that while it's an absolutely incredible tool for exploring, that final step of critical human judgment is still completely essential. All right, so the theory and the numbers are impressive, for sure. But what can it actually find? Let's look at a real-world example where Cosmos uncovered a brand new biological mechanism, one that the original human researchers had actually missed. So the task was this. Figure out why specific neurons in a part of the brain called the entorenal cortex are so vulnerable to aging. This is a big deal because it's an area that gets hit really early in Alzheimer's disease. Cosmos was just given the raw gene data from these cells and basically told, go find some clues. And it zeroed in on two key biological players. First, you've got something called flippases. You can think of these like a tiny maintenance crew that keeps the outside of a neuron healthy and in good repair. And second, there's something called an eat me signal. It's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. A chemical flag that a dying cell waves to tell the brain's immune cells, hey, I'm done for, come and clean me up. And here is the incredible connection that Cosmos made. It wasn't just one thing happening. It was a perfectly timed, coordinated event. It found that in those vulnerable neurons, the genes for that flip-off maintenance crew were shutting down. So the neuron's outer wall starts to fail, and those eat-me signals get exposed. Now, at the exact same time, the brain's cleanup crew, the microglia, were cranking up the very genes they used to detect those signals and gobble up damaged cells. 
Cosmos called this whole thing a pro-phagocytic axis, which is really just a fancy scientific way of saying it's a direct pathway for targeted removal. It's like a double whammy. The vulnerable cells are basically putting up a giant sign that says, destroy me, right as the brain's own immune system is getting ready to do exactly that. This is a huge clue, a potential new mechanism for why these specific neurons are lost so early in diseases like Alzheimer's. So what does a discoverer like this really mean for the future of science? Well, it points to a brand new kind of partnership. And the creators of Cosmos are super clear about this. The goal here isn't to replace scientists, not at all. The goal is to build a powerful tool that can do all the exhausting, time-consuming grunt work of exploration. This frees up human researchers to do what they do best, ask the big picture questions, think creatively, and provide that crucial final interpretation. Of course, let's be realistic. Cosmos has its limits. As we saw, it can sometimes make claims that are a little too strong or speculative. And its success is totally dependent on getting clean, high-quality data to start with. So ultimately, you still absolutely need a human expert to look at the results, to separate the real signal from the noise, and to provide that spark of intuition that only we have. But even with those limitations, this technology is an incredible glimpse into the future. It's a system that can reproduce, refine, and even generate brand new discoveries all on its own. And it really just leaves you with this one fascinating question. If an AI can autonomously conduct months of research in just a matter of hours, what hidden connections, what incredible breakthroughs will it help us discover next?